everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and we have a guest today. This is Anthony Castaneda from Revival X. If you haven't already, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, as well as leave a comment if you have any questions at the end. Today, we are doing our second video, that's right, on cleaning shoes. Today, we are focusing on a different type of material. In my previous video, it was on my Air Max 90, which is leather-based. This is actually a knit material. I am sorry, Anthony, because I really got these shoes dirty. old. These shoes are from 2016. These are the coppers. If any of you knew about the shoe when it released back in 2016, it released in copper, green, and a red colorway. These shoes are worth a pretty penny right now. If you go on StockX, I kid you not, like you can resell these shoes right now for around $700. It's insane. So hopefully, you know, you're not like me and you didn't mess yours up. <laughs> yours are brand new in the box and you can sell those. But if not, I mean, you can actually still resell shoes used, if you can imagine. And that's what I think I want to try and do with these. So I want to get them all spruced up today, Anthony. Get them nice and shiny and clean so that I can get the best price point on these bad boys. Since, you know, kind of run them down quite a bit. But I'm looking down at our equipment today. It's a little bit different than what we had for the Air Max 90 for the leather material. It is. I added um, a couple of things here. Uh, we have a sponge as an option um, for cleaning the knit material. Because it's knit, it's very sensitive. So we do have this as an option. Um, when this is soaked, it does have that texture. Sensitive but, sponge. Yep, but it's very soft. Sponge right? has sensitive feelings. <laughs> hey, this is your safe place. It's okay to talk about your feelings. We also have a shoe tree over here which is for us to insert into the shoe. And the reason why we're putting this into the shoe is for it to expand. Let, let me show you how to put it in, right? It's for it to expand a little bit, to expand the mesh, to expand the knit, so that we can get to even a deeper clean and also helps maintain the shape. Never would have thought of that, Andy. Oh, did I, oh, did I shove, oh, I didn't even shove all the way in. There we go, wow, it like popped up the front toe area of the shoe, that's pretty crazy. That's genius. Yeah, so it straightens it out. So we're really gonna be able to get into those nook and crannies of that shoe, exciting. Yeah. Very, very exciting. All right, so what's step one? All right, so my, my step one is always, you know, take a look at the shoe, see what kind of material you have. You already established that it is a prime knit uh, material. This V2 copper, um, it is soft, but it's actually a little more rough than the newer uh, models of V2. Um, you can feel that roughness. Yeah. Yeah. It's soft and like- Hurt it, yourself there. Yeah. <laughs> shoe hurt me. <laughs> But considering that, we can actually use the brush. This is a medium, a soft to medium bristled brush. So it's like it's, toothbrushes, guys. Yeah. You know how there's like a soft toothbrush and then you have your hard toothbrush. Very important, just like your teeth. Same goes for your shoes. You got to make sure you have the right bristles. Exactly. So this is actually soft enough for it to not fray any of the material. Uh, Rain would be really bad. I mean, there's nothing worse, you know, when you get a sweater and you snag it and everyone's literally focused in on your sweater, like, what happened there? Same can happen to your shoes. Yeah. It's equivalent yes. of like having very frizzy hair. Yes, so. God knows. <laughs> I have experienced that. Hopefully it's not too frizzy today. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's step one. We recognize that it's a material. Step two, well, I mean, we already know safety first. Um, this is difficult you know. material, Anthony. Like I'm looking at it. I mean, there's a million different areas all over the shoe, little tiny holes where 
dirt can get into exactly. and it's just like seems like an impossible shoe to clean at times yeah and that's why with the help of the shoe tree it helps expand and All right get guys deeper clean. get yourself some right? shoe trees so we got so we definitely Don't got um, our materials we have our bowl of water our solution um, this is our secret sauce right here guys Tell us, Anthony, tell us about the secret sauce one more time. I know we mentioned this in our previous video, but for those of you who are new, tell us what this is all about. Yeah, this is our uh, premium cleaning solution right here, right? Um, it's biodegradable, safe in all colors. It can work on leather, mesh, and suede. So right now we're working on a type of mesh, which is prime knit. So yeah, it's definitely versatile and it's a go-to for me, obviously, and also and for And for me, I love that it's <laughs> fragrance free. I must say, nothing irks me more than heavily scented products that really agitate my sinuses. So yeah. thank you Revival and X for giving us <laughs> that safety precaution of not adding fragrances. Yeah, that's also a reason why we didn't add fragrances is because it adds uh, more chemicals, like just chemicals in general to it. And if people have certain allergies, you know, we want to keep it as natural as possible. So that's why there's no sense to it. All right, Anthony, I think it's time. Shall we get to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so once we get the, our materials, since this brush is soft enough, just like the leather, the Air Max 90s that we did, we do a quick, quick, quick <laughs> brush off. Quick brush off, guys. All right, you see over here, this is dried dirt. Um, it, it has settled a bit, but we can try to get some of it. I know you guys may want to do this, which I said in my last video, is you want to wet the shoe down. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. No, do it! <laughs> Leave that shoe dry. Yes. And this is definitely some dried up mud. Yeah. So let's go around the shoe, do the knit first, and then move to yeah. the midsole. And that is so right? we're not doing the double work, right? Yep. It saves you a little work. I love so, this brush. I mean, it really just like ha it cuts in half the amount of work that goes into cleaning your shoes. Yep, and you can see um, since we have a white, you know, uh, base, uh, you can see the dirt. It's crazy guys! Actually, um, I'm gonna have this camera come up close up. so you guys can actually see mm -hmm. the amount of dirt that's coming off of this. Also, I feel like this is getting into like these the tiny little holes. Cranes, right? yeah. yeah, it's getting in the nooks and crannies of this shoe, which is pretty incredible. Yep. So, let's see. I feel like, like it's I, like, oh my god, is it done? <laughs> is it done yet? I, I took off a lot of dirt here. There was a lot on the on the heel, um, and also in the front. So, it's much better than it was before. Just that alone. How's it looking? It's great, right? I didn't but, get to the bottom part though yet, uh, so, so I need to do that. Sorry, do that I'm so quickly. slow, you guys. Right, so yeah. Let me do that again. Anthony's me... always outdoing me, and I'm so competitive. I feel like I always have to win, but when you're a perfectionist, you know, yeah, perfection and you, comes first. <laughs> and you don't have to get everything out, but you know, do those little like chunks. You know, you don't want any you of that. I'm missing in chunk in there. Right. Be bad news. <laughs> Sorry, right. Anthony. It's like, do, 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 do. Is that the Jeopardy song that's going on right now? I feel like I have a timer. I'm so nervous. <laughs> you can yeah, do don't, this. Don't, don't be afraid to go um, a little more aggressive on the midsole since it is. That's my problem, red. guys. I'm freaking gentle. <laughs> I'm so dainty. And as you guys know, I'm a hand model. So I don't know if that has something to do with it, but. Man, I just need to remind myself, be rough with the shoe. Only in certain parts of the <laughs> Yeah. Don't wanna so, hurt it. Like for the easy, for example, like the easy seven, 700s, they have a painted midsole that they have like little parts. So you wanna be a little more gentle when going through the midsole Got for it. those. But like this, this is all just rubber, black rubber. Black rubber. Yep. So right now we got a lot of the dirt out. She's looking good already. I'm telling you, this brush is a savior and it's not gonna cost you anything. Yeah, and it's, it's, a, so simple. it's a mistake that people, you know, not, uh, end up taking is, is they just go ham on the shoe and mm -hmm. 
they don't brush it out first. Like me, just throw in the bath of water. Mm. <laughs> or most girls, I'm sorry, like all my girlfriends growing up, all you would hear us talking about is throwing it in the washing machine. That's gotta be so bad for your shoe. Yeah. And then throwing it in the dryer afterwards. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> There's nothing worse than hearing that tumbling effect too going on. You're like, oh man. Yeah, are you damaging did I, the did rubber? I the, uh, did I break the dryer? Yeah. So. <laughs> So right now we have still dirt on here, so you can put it like out in front and just go like this. Oh, right. I'm just gonna clean the brush right. off. Clear off. All right. All right. Good so brush. we're gonna use this microfiber towel for later, not now, but I do microfiber wanna... towel, yeah. guys. So once again, remind me what is this microfiber towel? Uh, it's just it's soft, but it's textured, and it will pick up dirt. Um, all, all the remains of when you clean your shoe, it'll take, it'll go deep into like the little crevices because it's textured and it's so absorbent. Versus that towel that I've got over there. Oh yeah, no, that's a kitchen, kitchen towel, like so it's a very rough. a kitchen towel that I'm used to using. So, XNA on the kitchen towel, A. <laughs> Use the microfiber towel. Yeah, so this is for more of a wipe down for this. Wipe down, saving that till the end, mm -hmm. got it. And so we can take our brush, dip it in the box. So we're going all in. Yep, no. Nope. Full thing. I, I, I just, I just went in there. You just <laughs> went in. I was like, not even the tip. Oh, giggity, 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 goo. But look, I'm what sure. you guys are thinking, I'm... bad, dirty minds. <laughs> Didn't say it that way. No, no, that's that's not what she meant at all, right? Laura, no, you didn't mean that. No, 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 that. <laughs> Duck it. See, look, oh. all the excess, I'm shaking it off. All right, so you do the same. I'm shake it do the off. Same. Shake, 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 shake. All right, so apply a little solution. Little bit little of the solution. solution. This and is our most important quick, part. Quick dip. Quick dip bit. back in. Yep. Remember, after applying that solution, we're gonna quickly dip it back right. in. All right, so you. Ooh, okay. Dip. I didn't shake it off enough. Oh my god, you didn't see that, Anthony. <laughs> no one look at the amount of okay. water I brought so, in the tub. So here's an option. Since this has uh, laces and they're black, uh, I was considering taking them off. That's up to you. Would you like to take them out or would you like to leave them in? But it's just they're black, so we can go right over them. But that's up to you. Do you like to take them out before we start? I don't care actually. I feel like I need you to tell me what to do. <laughs> He's a shoe doctor. Right. I like I'm just trying to figure this whole customer concept out. <laughs> customer service is always important, so I always want to keep the customer happy. And you know how how these come? Mm -hmm. These are a factory tie. Yeah, these are factory ties. Anthony tie. knows I love that factory tie. So, don't mess with that. <laughs> I can always put it back for you, but I don't want to undo, you know, the, the greatness of the fact that you had. For me guys, I think I may have to say leave it. Okay. I just, there is something about that factory tie, that original tie, right from, straight from the factory, out of the box. This has been tied like this for four <laughs> years. Four years! No one tying! Nope. Can you believe it? Four years! <laughs> I totally believe it. <laughs> like, Alright, yeah. so... <laughs> We'll just keep it as is. Shoe trees are locked in, and you have your brush ready. And we're brush ready is ready. Right? All right, so you're gonna oh, put your oh. hand in there. And since the shoe, shoe tree is in here, mm -hmm. you can actually, it helps you. Like a little like, handle. Sort, yep. Look at it, that. To help you grasp it. Got it, so right, where so are we starting? We're gonna start on the knit. And for the knit, just in case for people who do have brushes and are unsure of the, like, the surface, if it's like too hard or too soft, like you don't know if it's soft enough for the prime knit, mm. we're gonna go in one direction first, like going away from Going you. away from you, yep. okay. Just like that, one direction, just to see if it actually frays, which well, as good. you see it- Does it frays? Nope. As you see it doesn't, right? So now that we know it doesn't fray, um, you can actually dip it in the water a little more. Right. Right. More soaked. And then start going in circular motions on the water. All right. So right? circular, once we know it is not frayed, we are yep. safe. <laughs> Houston is a go. Yeah. I'm actually seeing yep, some so stuff going on here a little bit. 
you know, I'm actually getting in there. So are, are you moving back? Are you moving back to the side, like forth. here, back and forth? <laughs> yeah. Just Circular in. motions. Yeah, you like those circles, guys? Circular motions. Circular <laughs> motions. Right. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Wax on, wax off. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth. Wax on, wax off. Don't forget to breathe. Very important. Wax on, wax off. Very important <laughs> circular motion shoe. Circular motion. Right. And why are we doing the circular motion? It's actually helping uh, do like a multi directional clean. Mm -hmm. So if we're only going one direction, mm -hmm. you're not getting You're not getting everything. Deep. Yep, you're not getting everything. Because Deep if you clean, go guys, in another direction. You want to go deep in there. Oh, don't say that. Quagmire will show up like the Roadrunner. Yeah. Once again, you know where your minds are at. Keep it clean. All right, so if you're running out of, uh, of juice there, just dip yeah. it in and do it again. Definitely feel like this material soaks right. up all of the water in the brush. It's pretty crazy. It's like a sponge. Yeah. Yeah, do you see that? Yeah, look at that. Sub. And this uh, prime knit. Soapy soap sub. This prime knit is going to absorb like <laughs> everything. Literally, it is it's, 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 it's literally disappearing everything. in front of your eyes, right? What's so, happening? <laughs> as you see, it's much more black. Ooh, yeah, right? my goodness. It's like a different color. <laughs> all right. So now that we have the uppers all clean, well, almost. I know. <laughs> Once again, I'm so slow. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know it was a competition, Anthony. You know me. If it was, I'd be all over the shoe. All right. So there you go. My upper is done. This looks good. Yeah. You know, like a. Uh... Wait, I didn't get the bottom part though. Nope. We're not doing. Oh, the thank God! Yet. I didn't jump the gun. Right? We didn't even do the midsole. Like, wait, I'm not there yet. So now, since the upper is done, you looked all around. Mm -hmm. Right. You gotta dip it again. Get water. Now this one you can leave a little, you know, a little more. Water. Right. All right. And then it's circular motion again, but for the midsole. On to the midsole. Right. And you're seeing a little sud, and that and that's okay. It's not too much foam, you know. Um, I like seeing the foam. But they're, <laughs> they're I know it's working. Yeah. That that's what. That's it, you know, it's a, a visible, real solution. It's a, <laughs> It's not just water in this bottle, guys. <laughs> Some real good quality products Definitely. that we're working with here. Right, so as you can see, like, the way I'm hitting it is I'm not even touching the bottom yet. I'm just getting the midsole. Right, so it is very, um, it's foaming up here. All right, now that I've done that, you gotta go a little more aggressive there. Oh, once there. again, I'm so <laughs> dizzy. Okay, there we go. We're on speed drive here. We're going. It's also the way you hold. <laughs> what if I just see this face? Mean face. <laughs> I feel like that's helping. So the way you hold it, I see you're holding it like, like I'm this. I'm holding it dainty like a, like so see this guys? This I, is like if you're like posing <laughs> for the camera, I'm like. I think it actually would be more effective if, if you can. Oh. Hold it like. Wow, uh, I'm so lost here, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Like that. This is how I hold it because it has a sure, firm grip on all sides. Oh, guys. Right? So, <laughs> I don't know. It feels, it feels awkward. It feels awkward. awkward. <laughs> it feels, I think I have like tiny little palms. That's what it is. I've got the tiniest right, so palms. Fingers are long. <laughs> They're so long, but my palms, for some reason, it's like I'm all finger, no palm. All right. So, if, if you're yeah, holding. like all legs, the <laughs> <and> torso. <laughs> yeah, anybody? Yeah. If you're holding it that way, make sure it's not a very light grip. Make sure it's. All right, like I'm going to. Firmly grip yep, there, there you go. You see that? More aggressive. There you go. Oh, in circle motion. Okay, circle I lost the circle good. even. My goodness. <laughs> You're doing great though. Is it getting toasty in here? <laughs> All my suds are here. starting to dry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, I think I'm good. I don't know. I think this you're is good too. Pretty, let's, let's see. Thick and span. Let's see what happens. All right. So take take your microfiber towel. All right, microfiber towel is up. All right. First, 
Just pat, pat the upper. Alright, so we're just right? gonna, so we are gonna pat, pat the upper first. That's a good just, shoe, just, good shoe. <laughs> yeah. You're patting your puppy or something, right? It's sort of like a, a light, light absorbing. Light absorbing. And you want to do the upper first, obviously, because you don't want to transfer any dirt. Right? To the, to, yeah, from the midsole. True. Don't want to transfer any dirt. Right. And now we go just wipe down the midsole, just like this. Just wipe it down, across, up and down if you want. I kind of like this up and down movement. Yeah, up and down works, especially for these uh, grooves. Yep. Yeah. Right? Look and so look shiny. I don't even see any dirt on the shoe anymore. I mean, don't look at the bottom yet. Yeah, it doesn't we, count. we can actually do um, the bottom as well. So after we wipe down the midsole, make sure to get into those little nicks and the uh, sure right? Yeah. What do you think? It's beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So we're actually going to do the bottom. Are you ready? Oh wow, we are. Oh my guys, I didn't bottom. know if we were doing the bottom, but I guess we are. <laughs> Once again, we were talking about germs in my previous video. There's a lot of stuff going on down there. I don't even want to yep. know in this city like what we've stepped on. It gives me the eebie-jeebies, mm -hmm. but why not? Let's get yep. rid of these germs. Let's just do a quick clean for, for the bottom. Dip right. it, dip it, dip it, brush again. And the brush again. And make sure, to, make sure to hold it to get vertically, there. right? Okay. If you hold like this, this shoe tray is really helpful. Yeah. If Why? you hold it on a slant or any angle, mm -hmm. all the stuff you're cleaning might go to the knit, Ooh, might go to the bad. midsole. All right. So if you're cleaning the bottom, do it vertically. Vertically. And it's more like shoulder action right here. Shows how strong. Um, let me let me place the camera over there. All right. Now the boost I see. Little bubble bath for no. the bottom of the <laughs> <Yeah>. shoe. <laughs> As he's splish, splash, splash, I was taking a bath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that song, ready? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> splishing and splashing. Right, and this is a quick, quick uh, clean for the bottom, just to get the germs off, right? Looking good. Right, and the boost, as you can see in yours and in mine, totally it's still good. yellow. It's dirt. It's sort of dirty, but it's also yellowing. It's yellowing. Yeah. So for that, that we can't do any like deoxidation because it's boost. Boost pellet boosts are like foam pellets. Mm. They're it's not rubber. Um but the best we can I do is I have you know, heard paste. that people actually put something on the bottom of their boost to keep it from turning colors. Is that hardcore? Is that just like it, they, they can put tape on it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I it's don't a know. Clear, I feel like I've heard people doing that. Yeah it's a clear protective uh material that you can actually put uh on the boost and then cut out and then protects it. it. I'm not it crazy, it. guys. Yep. People do this. All right, so let's wipe, wipe down um, the bottom over here. Right. That. And for the boost, you can actually sort of scrub it with a microfiber towel. It's soft enough um, to not harm the boost in any way. Voila! Germ's gone. <laughs> Easy, easy, easy. All right. So we are, we are done. Right. We did it. Ooh. Honestly, like that felt like it flew by so fast. I don't know. Right. Call me crazy. Now, if you don't have a brush, you can always use the microfiber towel to clean, but you need another microfiber towel to wipe it down. Ah. So you can use two microfiber towels if you don't have a brush. And obviously if you have a sponge, you can use that as well. I totally like this brush though, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like it just completely has the amount of work that you have to put into cleaning your shoe. But the microfiber towel, I guess, hey, if you don't have a brush, you know, but I think you should get a brush. All right. Well, is there anything else? Are we just gonna let this dry, I guess? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah sorry. Let it dry. I, just, I totally <laughs> had this not looking the correct. <laughs> <laughs> the correct way. 350 V2 Coppers, brand new, out of the box, ready to be sold for $700 for any of you looking to purchase. Hit me up in the comments. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Anyways, thank you so much, Anthony, for joining us again for another series on another material. 
Yes, yeah, maybe. It was amazing. So if you don't feel like cleaning your shoes, Revival X, they are amazing. They're located in Mount Vernon, but you don't actually need to be based there. You can actually have them pick up shoes or they can be sent over. They do deoxidation. Actually, you know, we were talking about this earlier is this knitting can sometimes fray and fall apart. There's an option that Revival X offers called cementing if this detaches from Yeah, so yeah, so we've shoe, had right? a couple we've had a couple of pairs where actually there is a this specific pair. Um the knitting actually tore off right here. And I think that person's foot was either wide or it was like overstretching. So it came off. So what we did was since we don't do any like fabric stitching current currently, um we can seal it with cement and it, will seal it just your, bonds your like shoe that. and bond it back together like it was brand new. So that is of course another option. They also do paint jobs. So if you need to clean up some areas of your shoe and have it painted, send it over to them. They'll take care of it. You can also purchase this online, correct? How much is this going for? Yep, that's $12 for the bottle, $20, $20 for the kit. $20 for the kit, guys. Like I mentioned earlier, there's nothing better than, you know, saving a buck or two on just cleaning your shoes versus going out and getting a new pair. Especially shoes like these, because these were very difficult to get and they are obviously still in high demand. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning into Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you next time on another cleaning. We're going to be doing another material that will be suede, Anthony, right? Yes. Showing us how to do suede. Yes. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit those notifications for updates on our latest release videos, as well as give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thanks so much.